them in. I'm going to start every class the same way. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to say, okay, what's going on? Okay? And you got to talk at that point. You got to tell me what's going on. You've been writing some stuff. Okay? And when we, so you will, we will uh, we'll both engage you. We'll get, you, get your mouths moving at the beginning of the two hours or at the end of the two hours. And uh, I'll see whether you're reading or not. I'll see what you're finding, finding out. Okay? The, uh, the, the, and we'll then introduce... Uh, um, uh, at the end of the sec second, what's going in the second, what's going on, Joel? I'm going to introduce the concept of a nugget. Okay, a nugget in John Grano's book is a piece of information that's got particular um, heft to it. It's got particular gravitas. It's a it's a fact that not everyone knows. It's a it's a thing that that either builds credibility or is persuasive or or does something uh, uh, for the uh, um, city to to go back to Keller's message. It's, it's a something that it's a nugget. It's gold for the planet. It's gold for the planet. Is um, that what you want us to look for when you're reading the yeah, news? Yeah, I do. I do. You know, you just I want you to get reading the news and get the get a flow for what's going on. But I want you to look for nuggets. Okay, nuggets are good. Okay, you can do all kinds of things with nuggets. They produce their own stories sometimes. They, you put them in your back pocket. You get a pocket full of nuggets when you write a story. You know, they're just good. They're just, you understand, you're, you, there are pieces of information that everyone knows that, that don't have gravitas, and there's pieces of information that everyone knows that, that does have, don't have gravitas. That, I, I just <laughs> mashed the language. Um, that, 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 that don't have gravitas. You know what I mean? You, you, you understand the word gravitas? Weight. Uh, yeah, heft, heft, you know, meaning, dripping with, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, you know, gravitas, you know, it's just got something, to say, it's specific gravity, you know, uranium instead of feathers, you know, um, 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 so, you know, lead, you know, heavy stuff, um, um, so you, and you have to learn how to, you're looking at a piece of image, ooh, that's got, I can do something with that, that's a, that's a something. Okay. Once you've got to, got to, got to sift through everything you're reading. So, well, that's a something. That isn't. Okay. So you got to learn. I want you to tell me nuggets. I want you to tell me, oh, that's a nugget. We can do that. You, 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 you need to learn nuggets in, in reading stories. You need to know, understand nuggets on the phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. It's the same principle. Okay. When you're on the phone talking to someone, oh, I just got a nugget. <laughs> I tell you one story. I'll tell you one story. Um, uh, so I was uh, having lunch with the. Um, Vice President of, uh, of Public uh, uh, of, of Lobbying for the, for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Very big guy, runs a, one of the largest lobbying operations in, 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 in Washington, D.C. Uh, and this is about, I don't know, 10, 10 12 years ago. And we're at lunch, one of these fancy restaurants, and you know, I'm eating there, and I'm, I'm in my, you know, those are the days where I used to wear suspender and suspenders and, and $50 ties at the, at the time, now they're $200 ties. Um, um, and, and you know, I was in my suspenders, and he was he was in his you know his his dudes, and you know and we were, we're sitting in this re at this restaurant, and he's telling me something about this meeting that he had at the White House, and I'm fooling with a with a one of those you know milk things that you open up and you put in your coffee, and I'm just fooling, I'm kind of squishing it, and, you know, just you know. And I noticed you were flipping your pen. I'm, I'm one of those people too. I just, you know, so I'm fooling with this thing. And, and he's talking about at the White House, and you know, and this was at the time. Uh, what president was this? This would have been Clinton. Uh, was Clinton. And um, and uh, Clinton said this, and and, blah, 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 and and somebody else said this, and and, and, and the Secretary of Treasury, I forget at the time, who the guy's name was, said this, and it was a nugget. And it was like I knew I had a story. And I'm fooling with this thing, and I got actually, you know, I kind of tensed up, and I squeezed it, and I sprayed it all over the guy. <laughs> I mean, his, you know, his three hundred dollars suit, and his, you know, it's just all over him. And so he's sitting there dripping, you know, no milk dripping off his nose, and I'm like, you know, I'm just, and he says, "Guess I told you a good story." <laughs> so that's. That's the gravitas principle. <laughs> so, so you don't want to do that, but I mean, you want to you want to you want to orient yourself so you're so you're looking for something that's a big deal. Okay. So, so so I want you to be reading your articles. Okay. So you want you to, you know I want you to get a feel for what's going on. I'm just going to give you more time. Oh, I'm done. Okay. 
The next thing we do um, at our next session is we decide um, whether we want to do this in principle, theoretically, or we actually want to become a team of investigative reporters. I bet you have been picked the latter, right? Yeah. Do you want to become, do you want to just be, okay, we're, gonna, yeah. we're a team. <laughs> we're going to go write a story at the end of uh, of our eight hours, uh, we will either have a story written or we'll have the pieces of a story put together. We're, we're an investor, so I'm going to sort of send you up. That no, that um, uh, it sounds appealing, but that means it, it's more hours work than in the classroom. Okay, mm -hmm. and I want to be understanding, and I, I don't want to. This is something you guys have to decide. Okay, uh, and, and maybe I'll just throw it out. Now we'll have a discussion at the end of the what's going on drill. Uh, next week, you know, you have to look at your schedule. What else is going on? Okay, uh, 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 because um, uh, if we do it that way, I become your editor, and I'm not as nice. Um, okay, I'll be demanding information. I'll be, if you if you have the massive misfortune of hooking onto a nugget that I really like, you know, I'm going to be in your email <laughs> box every ten minutes looking for the next thing. Okay, so I tell you, she understands that she's a reporter. So so. That's, so you have to sort of decide for yourself. And it's really okay, I can teach this theoretically, we can talk about a good investigative, this is what we would do in investigative, or we could go find something, or we could just go iterate, which is, you know. The two things that I would throw out there that we could do right now in the context of two weeks, okay. One is there is a lot of information that we could gather on the internet with a minimum of phone calls about um, the Obama administration's um, uh, uh, ability to govern the uh, uh, federal response to the BP oil spill, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about whether we should drill or not drill. Uh, and I'm not talking about, um, uh, I'm talking about the actual, the federal response to cleanup, okay? What actually, what actually does the federal government do you know, by way of regulations, by way of, you know, what, what, and how did the states, and how well did the, sort of the same thing as Bush and Katrina, if you know what I mean. There's, a, there's now starting to be a body of information out there, which uh, if, a, if a team went out there and gathered it all together, we would be able to make an assessment as to whether o the Obama administration represents good government or bad government. Okay? Okay, that's one thing we could do over the next two weeks. We could just gather a bunch of different points and you know you, you you guys would bring me all your nuggets and I would say well that's a good nugget but it needs this and that's a good nugget and then that's not that won't play this will play that's and so we'll just get through the whole whole thing and we'll you know we can you know we can operate as a team okay the second thing that we could do okay is the last of the three uh, assessments of uh, climate gate whether or not climate gate was really a problem or not you know what I'm talking about climate gate you understand what that that is this was the the CRU, uh, the Climate Research Unit of East Anglia University in um, in, in uh, uh, England, uh, Phil Jones, I think the guy's name was. There was a there was a, somebody hacked into his email server, into his server, and, and released thousands of emails that seemed to indicate that these guys were manipulating data and being very biased with respect to climate uh, uh, um, climate information um, that that would. Uh, Confirm uh, the, the the that there's uh, man-made um, um, carbon, uh, 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 man-made anthropogenic uh, global warming, and um, it seemed and so the, the, it, it, at the time it, it rocked climate science to its core, and they said we will study whether or not anything's been done wrong. Okay, mm -hmm. there were three uh, analyses that were done: two in England, one at Penn State University, Michael Mann. Is a, is a big factor in this. He's the he's the, 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 the what's called the hockey stick author. You guys, any of you guys do any climate stuff? It'd be fun if you do. If you don't, that will be. Anyway, he's the famous hockey stick author. You'll learn about the hockey stick. Just just type in Google hockey stick and man, and you'll you'll get more than an earful. Okay. So anyway, so there's one in Penn State and two in in two in in in, in, um, in England, and they've all now all come out saying no, nah, nothing was wrong. These guys have all maintained. Integrity, science and integrity, and not will believe it. I'll be honest with you, they, they just have too much at stake. They all get millions, literally hundreds of millions as a, as, a, as, a, as a profession in climate research science. If they decide that there's not a climate problem, they lose hundreds of millions of dollars. And the people that they use to assess whether or not there was integrity 
in the in their scientific method were people who also get part of the hundreds of million do millions of dollars. I don't think I think it was a. Uh, uh, so I just suspect that. So I would you know if I were if I were out there mucking around as a journalist, I would put a team on that and so we'd go find out some information to either confirm or deny that particular um, um, theory. We might find out that it's wrong. There is a Wall Street Journal article uh, yesterday that I will send you that it's, that's, that's a piece where we very much could start. This was a climate scientist who tr was trying to get published over the last, um, 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 between the Climate Gate scandal and now in the Climate Magazines and has been consistently rejected, saying, you know what, we still have bias. We still have bias. So, and, and so he, he did a nice job. So that would be the two things that I would suggest that we could do. I want to at least throw you out you know the idea of let's get into something, and those are the those are the two we decide between the two of those things, um, what we would get into, and um, we would have that as part of our our our, our, our eight our now six hours together. Okay, so mm -hmm. come prepared to discuss after we do the what's going on drill. Come prepared to discuss, and really I you know you really take an honest look at your schedules, whether you can you know pull something off. Um, um, I don't think it would. I don't. I'm not going to be super demanding, but it will be. It will require hours outside of the next six hours that we're going to spend together. Okay. Will it, will it get to the point where we are calling senators or the Navy? Maybe. If I say so, it does. <laughs> so. So. Um, um, so we'll see. I mean, you know, it, that would. Um, it could be a fun could be a fun exercise. We'll run it we'll run it at a level so level so everyone participates. You know, if any you know, you know uh, notice Zoe said, you know, not really done much journalism, you know, but you're interested in it. We you can participate in this. You know, it's absolutely you know, it's, it's we can do this. We can do this together. So don't don't worry about, you know, how deep into this that you've gotten already. Because hey, it's a seminar, right? We're supposed to be learning. Okay? Good. Well, it was a pleasure um, um, getting to know you guys. I'm looking forward to learning your names. Please excuse me for getting that all messed up uh, while I get to, by the time the six hours are over, I'll have your names and then it'll be too late. But, um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, so People now I've got have you. have name tags next time. Yeah, name tags isn't a bad idea. If, yeah. I mean, if you guys can stand it. <laughs> you know, just put I'll them just on put your, you know. Put it on there. Yeah, just so I can, oh, so I can see. That would, that would help me, actually, because I, 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 I want to get to know you. I really do. And, I'm, I'm, I'm a, once I once I teach you, you have um, you have um, 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 access to me for the rest of your life. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is one of the benefits that, that I that I offer. You can call me up. Uh, you know, you get my email and you call me up, and I, I'd love to keep track of your career. So, thank you. So, thank you.